Hi, in this screencast we will see the, how to implement the virtual host in Apache server with the Tomcat. Now, suppose we want to see the virtual host in Tomcat. See my old videos, how you implement the virtual host in Tomcat. So what is the issue with old one, the virtual host in Tomcat? Suppose we have, that means in virtual host in Tomcat, all websites are located in single machines. So suppose you have the big organization, each organization want to maintain the server in own, that means maintain the website in own server. But our Tomcat, virtual host in Tomcat, we need to maintain all in single machine. So it's not possible for the big organizations. Suppose this is my structure. Suppose we have many departments. Each department have different IP addresses. Addresses each have the different different Tomcat servers. These are each only Tomcat server. Suppose one request just comes, then how we process? So we have the big constraint because we can't put the single IP. This is a different different IPs. I need to register some public IPs also. So how we achieve the, this virtual host concept? Now we need to put Apache HTTP web server in middle of that request processing. So Apache web server is rec accept all the requests and delegate to the appropriate department based on the request. So this is uh, our new structure. The, in this structure, we placed the um, Apache web server. So all the requests comes to Apache web server. Apache web server delegate the request, uh, request to appropriate departments. Now, how Apache server and the Tomcat server can communicate? When you see here, Apache server here is okay. Normal browser can communicate directly. Here, how Apache server can communicate with these Tomcat servers? Actually, there is a one concept is a AGP protocol. Through that protocol, both Apache servers and the Tomcat server can communicate. Now, when you run on single Tomcat, there is a lots of ports are binded. One port for shutdown port, one port for HTTP port. For the HTTP requests are processed in this port. And one more option port is HTTPS. If you want to need HTTPS, you enable these ports. And one more port is AGP port. Usually, we are not using this AGP port anymore. But this concept, we mostly use the HTTP port only. We need to, that module can communicate between the Apache HTTP server and Tomcat server. Now steps. These are the steps we need to follow for implementing the virtual host in Apache servers. The first one, install the Apache server. Second, install the mod JK, that means JK connector. Then configure the JK connector and finally, apply the virtual host concept in Apache web server. Now install the Apache web server. Now before that we need to download the HTTP server from internet. When you search HTTP download you will get the site link you need to download the Apache web server. And here we build the from source code. So download the source code. So I downloaded the file. Now I am going to extract it. open the command prompt go to the place download HTTPD ok then comes here here uh, install the script is like this only dot slash configure hyphen hyphen prefix and we need to enable two modules here prefix mean where we need to install the apache server we mentioned that user local apache this place we are going to install the apache server and while installing the apache server what are the module we need to enable it Actually, Apache server have lots of module. Now, are we interested in two module. Rewrite, we used this video. Enable proxy, maybe we used in next video for load balancing servers, some kind of possible combinations. And that's less configure. When you put that's less configure hyphen hyphen help, you will see the all the possible parameters in that place. There's lots of parameters. So we are going to install now. Dot slash configure hyphen hyphen prefix share. Then also go here. Then go to the file system. User local. 
Apache. Apache is again installed here. When you can see all bin folder, configuration files, HD docs, everything is in single logs, everything in single places. Now okay, when you go to the modules, there's a lots of modules are pre-installed. Okay. Now our second step is we need to install the JK connector. So we need to download the JK connector and we need to install it. When you go to the JK connector, just search mod JK connector download. You can get the page and download the source file. Here I already downloaded, so just extract it. In JK connectors, there is one folder native. Inside the native configure file is there. So come out and go to the Apache. Tomcat connector. Now dot slash configure with Apex user local Apache bin Apex. This file is already present. We need to specify that file. Then this mod JK connector file module is installed as a shared module. Then we can load the module at any time. Now we install the JK connector. Now third step is we need to configure the JK connector. In the third step, we have two sub steps. One first one is create the workers.properties file and load the configure the JK load and configure the JK connector module. Actually, when you see the software structure, each department here considers a worker. So in workers.properties file, we need to specify the this Tomcat information. The first one is create the workers.properties file. So let's go here. And first get the pseudo privileges. Open the native pseudo. Okay, now go to the user local Apache and configuration folder. Here create the one document. The name is workers. Here in this file, we need to specify in this format. Now, worker dot one particular name. We can give any name, and the type is which type. We are using AGP 13 is a protocol name. So AGP 13, and we need to mention the port and host. Host is where the departmental level Tomcat is specified the IP address, and port is not HTTP port. Here we need to use AGP port. And worker list is. What are the list we provided here? We need to specify through comma. Now see here. So in my last video, I already have the multiple Tomcat instance running in single machine. Now I am going to use that. Now I have three Tomcat instances. I have the script files for in start the Tomcat server. So I am going to use that one. Okay. Now we need to start up the three Tomcats. Let's start the first Tomcat. I run the second Tomcat and three. I am running three Tomcat instances. I check my old video about the how to run the multiple Tomcat instances in single machine. Now localhost x rate zero one Tomcat is running. Localhost eight one eight one. Another Tomcat is running. Some other one I put on small page. And local host 8002 sorry another page is running. This is local host only. I put on default sample page. Now we are running local host 8080 Now three Tomcats instances are running. Okay. Now we need to create the workers dot properties file. So here worker dot worker dot we can give any name. So I'm giving Tomcat one dot type. We are using the AGP port. So AGP one three. It's a version number. Now worker dot Tomcat one dot host. Now we are running this machine in local host only. So I put local host. Otherwise we can specify the where this Tomcat instance is running actually. So I'm running. 
Docker dot Tomcat one dot port. Here it's not HTTP port. We we'll use them AGP port. This is the format AGP one three user type, and the port number is AGP port. So when you see here, this is my Tomcat. Check the in server XML file. Okay, this is a HTTP port eight zero zero. Actually, we don't want this one. And this is a HTTPS port. Now it's a disabled. And this is an AGP port. When you see here, the protocol is AGP one three, and this is AGP port. So we need to use that port. So eight zero zero nine. Okay, the one worker is created. Now we have three Tomcat instances. So we need to create totally three Tomcat workers. All our type is AGP one. Change the value to two, and this one is. You can give any name. Let's make sure. Now my all our host is local host only, but port is going to change. So, my instances this one, and check the server XML file. Okay, this one is eight zero ten. Now check the another instance three. Configuration folder and check the server XML. Okay, this thing eleven. Eleven. One three worker is created. We need to give the list. Worker dot list. So here I'm typing worker dot list equal to this name. Where we could target one, target one, target two, and target three. Okay, that's it. Now our current start properties file is created. So the three point one step is completed. The second step is now we need to add the entry into the HTTP config file. So when you go here, there's one file HTTP config file. This is a configuration file for Apache server. So we need to add some entries. Now we have mod jk file, and okay. Now we need to add the module. Now let's see the code. Now we need to add the module. Jk module is already present, but it's not loaded. So we need to specify the load the module. Then second is. They give them the recently we created the worker start properties file. We need to specify use this file. So here load module and give the any name. Now here is the okay, module. Now space we need to give the where you can find out. There is a one folder modules slash mod jk dot s o. When you see here, see the Apache modules. There is a mod jk dot so. We need to specify this file. Need to load it. Then second, jk jk workers file. Workers file specify the place. We'll put it in config con slash workers dot properties. This file path in relative path from config. Then some remaining modules. See when you see here, this is log file entries. So we just copy paste the log file as it is. This is nothing is changed. Suppose any this mod jk connector is forward this request, the entries are stored in that log file. So just this is a constant only. We need to copy paste that log entries. We need to copy and paste it. Now this part is complete. Now the step is completed. We go for next step. Next step is we need to delegate the HTTP to Tomcat. Now this entry JK mount it comes to module only JK module only. So we added here only. Now we are providing so JK mount slash 
docs okay now before that we need to create that three department folder okay this is my instances one now create the department folder department one and here i put the files what you put in put department one then we'll go for instance two and we have create the department two In roots, put it in department two. Now go to the instance screen. Department three. In the root files. Now let's check it here. Now we have a host, first one, department one. Department two. Department three. Okay, now we have three, three Tomcat instances. We have Tom that context is one is department one. The second Tomcat is context is top department two. And third one is department three. Now if you search department 2 in this one, you won't get it. In this Tomcat have department 1 only, in this Tomcat department 2 and so on it's like this. Now we need to add this entries in httpd.config file. So go to the here, suppose department 1 any request contains a department one go to the which worker we already have three worker three workers now this is the first term kit the pointing to the second term kit third term kit now department one the any request have department one means it goes to the first term kit the first term kit name is term kit one so specify term kit one let's so just copy paste now contains any request have department 2 2 then go to target 2 and department is asking anyone 3 go to target 3 just to save it then now go to slash user now we are going to start the apache server local apache b now sudo dot slash apache control Apache CTL start. Apache started. Now go to the browser and the host. Actually, Apache is running 804. So Apache started. Now, anyone asking here? Department 1. See, Department 1 is coming. Here, anyone asking Department 2? Department 2. That's when my second Tomcat. See the Tomcat. This Tomcat is coming. Department 3. Another Tomcat. So when you see here, can you ask questions like this? this will, suppose let's take this video. Suppose I'm asking ramki.com anyone. Anywhere ramki.com is I'm putting in host file. So it's bring it to the local host only. So department 1 slash index.html. So this Apache web server, our JK mount module, check it out, department 1 mean, what we need to do, send it to the, this worker, with like this. So while going here, they remove the front end, they only they send in the department 1 dot index html 2. So department 1 is a, this context, this Tomcat context, they so take care of everything. Suppose instead of localhost, when you type www.ramki.com you will get same result because anyway ramki.com and these are bring it again to local host only ok now this part is completed but what we want we don't want like this ramki.com slash department 1 or ramki.com slash department 2 we don't want like this we want like this ramki.com slash india.html but okay we, we need to some way we need to convert this one to this like this module 
So before that, we need to apply the virtual host. Now our final step, we need to apply the virtual host. Now listen 80 is which port Apache server is listen. This already this line is there. Now we need to going to implement this module, virtual host module. In this virtual host, we mentioned that port number 80 bind the port number and the server name is which server name? The DNS domain name. Actually, this is actually is working as like the Tomcat using the host header field. So we need to mention that which server name. Then the JK mount is we put before that we put outside. We need to bring it inside like this. Let's see. Go to the HTTPD and when you see here, we can put it this value anywhere. So I'm putting here. Directly we need to put in virtual host. That means this directly specify that where the our virtual host servers are we put it out which um, ethernet we have already have only one so put star is and same for everything now we need to put the virtual host this directives virtual host star colon 80 where we need to look at and Here we put server name. And www.mp.com. Okay. Then we need to put the JK mount. Bring the JK mount here. JK mount slash department one star. Then what we need to do? Then Tomcat one. Which worker we need to delegate? Tomcat worker one. So just copy, paste. This one is Krishna, and this is two. Tomcat two. This one is blog dot, and this is department three, and Tomcat three save the file and come down and remove these entries now go to the apache control and stop the server and start it again now let's see before the ramki ramki.com slash department 3 is working but now it's not working same one is coming but here when you access a department 1 or 3 you won't get it this particular department is going to particular places only so here apache http server we mentioned that here the same kind of thing now anyone asking ramki.com then goes to the, this module anyone asking krishnan going to this module now ramki.com is going here here that person asking the ramki.com slash department 1 then only goes to the tomcat 1 ramki.com slash department one dot index.html but I don't want to send like this I want like this ramki.com slash index.html somehow we need to add this automatically instead of them we manually entered so due to the purpose we using the rewrite module rewrite module is the one engine is a target provides we need to add the rewrite module see here rewrite the same one we need to add some extra code now rewrite engine is on now this is log to generate the log file for rewrite and this is the important rewrite rule in rewrite rule this is a regular expression if it's matched we i am putting the start at anything slash something and anything comes from starting and this is the end so anything comes inside take capture that one and append with department one now let's see here Now re right engine. Now rewrite engine is on. Now rewrite log file if you want. I don't want log file, so I just take right. 
rewrite rule. Now rewrite rule is started with this mark and slash is just basically anything. Any content is coming. This is the end. So for the end. Anything is content, just make it department one slash dollar one. What they captured here, it's appended in this area. And this is a flag. Like we mentioned that this is the last rule and pass through the proxy here instead of department one we just mentioned it star dot dollar anything so slash star so this is a new in rule just copy and paste it to everyone this is target two and this is target three and this is a department three three and this is a department two now start and stop there so we stop there and start it again now now take the question two question is now no need to query anything enter see now question is entered directly open the Tomcat server and same thing is block dot from key dot com it's open the moderate code directly so this is the structure now this is a new setup now the person asking ram key dot com only they not mention the department one department two anything apache server send the request with the department one the small rewrite rule is updated here. Before URL is processed, the URL is rewritten by the rewrite module. The rewrite module check the request, it's come for ROM key, then put the department one appended and send it to the Tomcat one. If it's like that only. When Krishna is coming, they rewrite the module and send to the Tomcat two. This is like this only. Virtual host concept in Apache server. Thank you for watching the video.